。今天时尚名人会的焦点人物，我们非常的荣幸能够访问到的是 IWC 的全球总裁 Mr. George Kern。Thank you, Mr. Jordan, and for joining with me today. And I would like to first congratulate IWC Shop House and Portuguese on the 75th anniversary. Could you please tell us more about this special event IWC is hosting? Two things. Obviously, reopening a boutique here in,、um, in Taipei in 101. We have.、Um, Been here for seven years in a smaller、mm -hmm. location, and、uh, now since the business has been、Important、very good, important location. <laughs> well, since the business has been growing、uh, yeah. very well here in Taiwan,、mm -hmm. uh, we were fortunate to enlarge、um, and to find a better location for our boutique, and, and we're very happy to bring in here our new、uh, design, also the new co、uh, boutique concept.、Mm -hmm. I think it's the second in the world now after London. We have this new.、Um, Concept design concept, and the, the second thing is、uh, we are relaunching also the most iconic watch in our collection, which is called the Portuguese, which has been、um, in our collection 75 years. It's really one of the four or five biggest iconic watch designs in the industry. We know、uh, the Portuguese is a watch that is both classic and full history. Can you tell us more in depth about this collection? In a way, it, ha it has been the first oversized. Watch in history because in the 1930s we had it's why it's called Portuguese, meaning from Portugal because we had two Portuguese sailors、uh -huh. coming to Chafaus and asking for a wristwatch for navigation.、Oh. So what we did is we took a pocket watch because at that time we were making pocket watches、mm -hmm. and and put basically a leather strap on it and it's how the the line uh, basically uh, was created. And since that time,、um, the design has been so good, and didn't really change. I mean, really minor changes. But it's, as I said, one of the absolute classic、uh, designs in the, in the in the watch industries. And we know、uh, you work for IWC Group for many many years. So could you please share about your struggles and、uh, your style in management? We have been fortunate to 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 be growing. We're now one of the biggest、uh, brands in the world. But you have to reinvent yourself every year. Uh, you have to go for a new、uh, objectives to make、uh, the brand evolve. It's like it's like a boy becoming an adult and still growing. Or if you take a football team from the third division to Champions League, this is what we're trying to do. So you need to change things in, in the way you play. You need to change、uh, things in the way、uh, you do your tactics, and、uh, it's why you have to reinvent. Yourself every year. For instance, four or five years ago, we had no boutiques. We were only doing wholesale. Well, till four or five years ago,、okay. today we make something like 30 percent in our own boutiques.、Okay. The products have、uh, been evolving. Our average price has been increasing.、Um, so many, many things in the way we communicate today. We work with the biggest Hollywood stars: Kate Blanchett, Emily Blunt,、uh, Emily Blunt, Ewan McGregor,、um, Christoph Waltz. So it's really, and we have great projects. We are the sponsor of the Formula One team of Mercedes, etc., etc. So the brand is is, is bigger,、um, but again, it's all about reinventing yourself、uh, every year. How do you overcome the any struggles? No,、uh, it's it's a constant to go through life with open eyes. Mm -hmm. And try to understand what is going、uh, on in the market. Try to understand the trends. Try to feel the consumer. And if you do this, you can constantly adapt to obviously in keeping your、uh, your boundaries of your strategy of your DNA.、Mm -hmm. But in that, I think we have been moving well, very well, and the brand has a very modern、um, appearance、uh, and recognition in the market. Even though we are more classic、uh, watch, but not dust yet. Also, it's a very Modern type of of brand we we generate. You know, ten years ago、mm -hmm. we were only present in three countries: in Germany, Switzerland, Italy.、Wow. Today we are uh, uh, you know, visible on a worldwide level, and、um, and we're very happy. We have now opened、uh, or reopened Taipei 101.、Mm -hmm. We are、uh, we will open a boutique also on Rodeo Drive on Rue de la Paix in Paris.、Wow. So we are.、Uh, In the best locations、mm -hmm. in the world,、mm -hmm. which is very important also to build prestige of our brand. When you when you think about、mm -hmm. brand, it's always、um, the product where you start. And we have a couple of ideas. As you know, we we do produce now what we call the midsize, or what is in a way 
a big ladies watch so since last year on the Portofino line and mm -hmm. that certainly segment we're going to develop in the future and at next fair we're going to show another line um, in uh, for women uh, also a very nice product so that's certainly thank it. you just like my watch yeah for women. <laughs> it's beautiful it fits your arm uh, brilliantly thank you very much when you think about the brand it's really about the product you think uh, first yeah okay and I think you have picked uh, Taipei 101 as the focus for your event. Is there a reason for the connection? Well, it's, a, it's the most prestigious uh, location you can you can find uh, in in, uh, in Taiwan. It's a world-renowned building, um, and you see it all over the pictures, uh, the, the, the architecture of the building, and um, it's certainly a sign of recognition of Taipei and of Taiwan. Mm -hmm. so we're very happy to be number one in the mall, and tonight to have our event where we will welcome celebrities and, 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 and VIPs uh, and where we're going to host a little party uh, to commemorate and to celebrate uh, everything we're doing here in Taiwan. And Mr. Zhou Yumin just become your... Uh, I know he is uh, one of your very, very good friends and to be like, like the ambassador here today have the, to join your press yeah. conferences, right? Um, absolutely. We like to work with the movie stars and in the watch industry and IWC in particular, we also have to tell stories to create a dream because you're not selling only time, mm -hmm. you're selling an emotion, you're selling a dream. Yeah. And we tell stories. So the Portuguese, I told you the story of the Portuguese. Uh -huh. I, ca I could tell Two you the sailors. story. Two sailors. <laughs> I could tell you the story of Spitfire, of uh, uh, Top Guns, of, mm -hmm. of our diving watches. So we need to tell a story. And in movie, you tell stories. So it makes sense to work together. We are all storytellers. And can you share with us your positioning in the Asia-Pacific market and what you hope to achieve? First of all, mm -hmm. Asia remains the most important market for the whole uh, uh, luxury industry, uh, okay. simply for a very simple reason, because the population is here. Okay. Uh, uh, so, and China has been um, recovering um, quite well. I mean, obviously, things are not uh, as obvious and, and, and we're getting more complicated, but also we have to make sure that we as a brand, as IWC, we mm -hmm. outperform the market. We are better and thank God this is what happened uh, over the last year. We have been always overperforming the market. So is this a, uh, how many times you come to Taiwan already? I come every year. I come at least <laughs> once a year. Because Taiwan market is very important to you? Yes, it is. An, it is an important market and you know we have to treat everybody in, in a very professional way and I want to be sure that all over the world we have the same appearance. Mm -hmm. And again I think this boutique for me with the London boutique we've just opened uh, a couple of weeks back is, is for me now the most beautiful uh, boutique in yes, the world. Yes, very beautiful. It's our new concept mm -hmm. and um, you know you have it on a drawing uh, board but when you see it live mm -hmm. uh, it gives a total different impressions, the materials, the colors, the, the flowers, the way you yeah. do the lightning. It's very complicated and, and you make mistakes. So, um, and you learn uh, boutique by boutique, but I think this is one of, of the most excellent, the most perfect we've ever done. I'm a little bit curious. What kind of Taiwanese food is your favorite? Well, I like Asian food uh, oh. anyway, so mm -hmm. I just came back f three, four days from Japan. Uh -huh. So uh, I'm, I, I like Japanese food, but I like Chinese food. How about in Taipei? To be honest, I eat everything. So oh, okay. I'm, I'm, All right. I'm not only I'm not, dumpling or not, I, I love it. Okay. I mean, this is a tourist. You know, well, the West. You can say, okay, this is a tourist. The, okay, the, totally understand. Okay, but you are fine. the expert. No, 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 no. But mm. it's, it's fine. You know, I, I'm not complicated in, okay. in these kind of things. Okay, so we hope you enjoy Taiwan and enjoy Absolutely. the food here. Okay, Absolutely. thank you very much, and thank we you. have to say uh, congratulations again. Okay, because for this is big achievement. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. 瑞士众多的机械名表品牌当中 ，IWC s h e f h o s e n 坐落在德语区的莱茵河畔。因而有着简练精准的德式风格，轨道式的刻度、柳叶的指针及浮雕型的数字，成为品牌经典之一的葡萄牙系列。
George Kern 先生不断强调 “reinvent yourself” 的态度，也可以从表款的年年迈进看见，在经典美学与研发更先进的机芯之间，达到科技与古典相互兼容并蓄的完美平衡。我想，一直表承载的不仅是背后的故事，还有自身对于未来的梦想呢